Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we finished up the third boss fight slash the third full moon operation. I know there's techni technically been more than three boss fights, but whatever. We finished up the third full moon operation and in this episode, we're moving into, into July now. We're almost halfway through the game at this point and I'm super excited to get back into this. I went ahead and took a short break. Uh, between recording the last few episodes and this one just because you know I've recorded 40 episodes up to this point so sometimes your brain just needs to take a few days off finals are a lot harder than midterms you know that doesn't necessarily mean I'll study harder but we'll see sometimes the ex extra effort pays off it's almost time for exams again but this time it'll be a lot tougher you better go to the library and study otherwise you'll be screwed so yeah we don't have too many uh, social links at this point that we can hang out with because everyone's studying. We do, however, have Chubby Student that we can go ahead and talk to. I finally have the item that I need to activate his social link, so we'll go ahead and do that in just a second. Say so what kind of dance is popular nowadays in clubs? Reggae? That rap junk? In my day, it was the tango or the jitterbug. You dance with your girl, not to show off. I fell in love with, at first sight with my wife at one of those dance halls. Want to know something cool? You know the place. You know this place is called Polonia Mall, right? Well, do you know how it got its name? I don't. A Polonia is a type of plant, and part of the Carrijo name comes from the character for Polonia Tree. Since the place is under the ownership of the Carrijo Group, that's how it was named. Get it? I may look like a slacker salary man, but I know how to. S I know some surprising things. I don't even know what voice to give for you. <laughs> what is that mysterious food? Give it to me my odd morsel. Ah, this is awful! But I'm impressed. I haven't tasted something like that all my life. You're not so bad. Seems he's taking an interest in me. Should I hang out with him for the day? Sure thing. We go to the same school, right? One look at your uniform is all I need to know. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to ask you this right off the bat, but... Would you mind not standing so close to me? You're too thin and too cool! People start thinking we're best friends or something. I'm gonna end up as the uncool one. There you are. I thought your voice sounded familiar. You know what I'm here for. Now I hand it over. Whoa! Not you! Uh, help! Uh, emergency! Uh, hey, you! Uh, call the fire truck. Uh, I mean the uh uh. Sorry. What? Oh, hey! I thought we were buddies, weren't we? Come on, pal! Quit making a scene, all right? People are looking at me funny. I've got some business to take care of now, but you... You're Nozomi Suemitsu-kun, aren't you? I did my homework, see? You know I'm not letting you off that easy, right? I suggest you reconsider things. That was horrifying! My poor heart! I think it dropped into my coin purse for a minute there. My name is Nozomi Suemitsu. By the way, may I just say that you have a wonderfully big heart for someone so slim? Suemitsu gave me a hearty thanks. I've become acquainted with Nozomi Suemitsu, the gourmet king. Drama made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. You want to tag along, friend? Shall I treat you to the finest dining? If so, you've come to the right place. For I am the king, the Gourmet King. That's right, Gourmet King 2009. Or was it 2010? Eh, whatever. And as the king, I know all the kingliest places for... Uh, 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 my... my tummy! It's in horrible pain! I think it's in... emergency! 
Luigi! Sorry, but I'll treat you uh, another time. It started getting dark, so I went home. That was Nozomi Suemitsu, and I typically don't share my opinion on stuff until... Uh, sorry, I need to talk to Fuka. Uh, about what? Oh, there's something I want to clear... I have to clear up. I'm sure you're burnt out coming right off an operation. You know, it might be good to just rest today. I typically like to have you experience an entire thing before I tell you my opinions on it. So, usually I... If there's a character that I don't like, I don't immediately tell you um, until after you've had time to experience everything their character has to offer, unless their character is super, super annoying. And unfortunately, Suemitsu is one of those. He's widely considered one of the worst social links in the entire game, uh, and maybe even the entire series. I will let you, of course, I highly suggest you know forming your own opinions and stuff like that, but I really don't like that guy. There's a feature in the original Persona 3 that I want to see if it's still in Reload. Um, where you can talk to people through their doors if they're in their room studying and stuff like that. Uh, it seems like, is everyone else in the command room? Uh, Fuka and Yukari are in the command room. I don't know where Mitsuru is. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to apologize for hitting you yesterday. I kept meaning to say something earlier, but I didn't want everyone else to hear. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so about last night's operation, did something happy happen between you and Yukari-chan? Yukari-chan has been acting a little weird lately. I just hope nothing's bothering her. Mitsuru's not here, so we're skipping Tartars tonight. That explains it. Just take it easy for now. Hey. What? Were you going to order me around, oh high and mighty leader? Tch, whatever. I could be just as good as you too. I kind of forgot since it's been a little bit since I last recorded. Junpei is... Uh, mad at us right now. He's getting seemingly jealous. Hopefully he gets over it eventually. Uh, but for now he's just kind of yelling at us for even trying to talk to him. Oh, special Hagakure Bowl. So this will hopefully level up charm. Yes, finally. Okay, so we're super close to finally uh, maxing out charm, and then uh, we won't have to worry about raising up academics too much um, until much later in the game. I mean, it would help with our exams and stuff like that, but we should be good on that front. Oh, our campus is actually pretty clean and new. I only noticed after my club had to, had to visit another school. My parents said that our school was rebuilt after an explosion ten years ago. I also heard that the explosion wasn't the only reason. Around that time, a lot of students stopped uh, coming to school. Maybe that's why they put up the new building, to start with a clean slate. Huh? <laughs> what, you think there's a dark side to Gekukon High? You watch way too much TV. So yet again, we're hearing about 10 years ago. Something crazy happened 10 years ago that involved multiple different people. Let's talk about the Heian era today. I won't spend a lot of time on this, so pay attention. In 794, the Heian Kyo was established. In 894, in 894, they abolished imperial embassies to China. I might put this section on the exam next week. I'm feeling lazy. Anyway, on to feudalism. Listen carefully, because this has to do with the origins of the samurai. I choose you, Yuki. Let's see what you know. So, the law permitting permanent ownership of newly cultivated land served as a foundation for the development of feudalism. Thanks to this decree, a lot of land was cultivated. At the same time, a serious problem arose for the farmers. Do you know what that was? That would be social disparity. Yes, yep, you got it. That work doesn't end after you plow the land. It costs a lot of money to build waterways and stuff on top of that. So the farmers with more wealth and authority could make more money by expanding their lands. On the other hand, those who weren't as affluent had no choice but to remain poor. The same old story throughout time. Well, that's all for the Heian period. I answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect. Oh, Elizabeth has some new side quests for us, so let's go talk to her for a bit. Alright, what you got? So first of all, create a Persona with Torrent Shot. We already did that, so... 
Sweet. Anyways, let's see let's see what we have that's new. Okay, retrieve the fourth old document. Uh, we'll do that when we go to Tartarus. Defeat a rare shadow number one. So yeah, we'll also do that when we go to Tartarus. Eat a chilled taiyaki. I believe there's a sweet grilled fish called taiyaki that is often consumed in your world. Apparently, there's also a strange taiyaki that is cold even though it has been grilled. I, for one, would love to have a taste. Could you please bring me one? I would like to hear music unique to Gekko Khan. It is said that music can paint a vivid reflection of the culture at the time and place in history. Should that prove true, then I wonder if the Gekko Khan High School you attend has its own unique music as well. It's been on my mind ever since I first heard of this, so will you do me one favor? I'd like to hear a piece of music distinctive to your learning facility, Gekko Khan High School. I'd like to see a pair of Max safety shoes. Yes. The other day I overheard a housewife say something rather intriguing. Within the world of online shopping, these Max safety shoes are extremely popular right now. I would love to see what makes these shoes so special. Would you please bring me a pair? A so this is actually something that, uh, hopefully, and I'm really bad at remembering stuff, hopefully this Sunday I'll remember to buy stuff from Tanaka, because uh, he has the Max safety shoes that we need, and it's for a limited time only. Please feed the cat. There seems to be a hungry cat somewhere out there. It appears to have trouble finding food. As such, it has not yet been fed. Would you please find and feed the poor thing? Bring me a Christmas star. This time, I'd like for you to bring me a certain plant. It is often referred to as the Christmas star. I do, I do not have any more knowledge on this subject. Should you require help, I recommend asking someone well-versed in plants. I wish to feel the ocean. I have longed to visit this place called the Ocean. Alas, as you know, I am unable to abandon my post here. So if you ever have the opportunity to visit the Ocean, would you look for something that feels like the Ocean for me? Well, we don't have access to the Ocean right now, so we'll just have to wait and see if anything unlocks. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and work on some other side quests. Uh, first of all, we need to go to Port Island Station later. Second of all, I want to check if I have access to something here. I don't, so uh, later this evening I'm going to have to go ahead and use the school computer for something, because that'll help us complete a quest. The couple's only apathy syndrome that's been going around, I heard it was the work of ghosts. They say that a couple committed double suicide a long time ago, and now they're infecting couples with apathy syndrome. I don't know about that, but if it's true, I wish I could ask them why they're doing that. I mean, they're dead, they shouldn't bother living couples. Why is it always ghosts with these people? I mean, there's got to be, like, a cooler explanation you can come up with as to why weird, mysterious stuff is happening. When it's ghosts every time, it starts to get a bit dull. I guess this song. Gecko Con Boogie? Why does the school have music like this? It must be the teacher's theme song or something that plays whenever they enter a classroom. No way, man, that's crazy. Let's enter the PA room. Sorry, you have no permission to be in- Huh? The song? I have no idea what it's for, but it says Gecko Con Boogie on it. What? You want it? Are you serious? Sure, you could have it. We don't have any use for it anyway. Here. Now get out of here before you get me in trouble. So, Elizabeth was asking for some music from Gecko Con High, so we'll be sure to give that to her a bit later. I'm also gonna stop by Aohige Pharmacy for a quick second. So we want to buy four super cat foods. Now what we want to do is go to Port Island Station, and we want to go to Station Outskirts. Over here we have this cat. This cat looks very weak, it seems like it might be hungry. Maybe I should give it super cat food. Meow, meow. The cat is purring loudly, it seems happy. Maybe the cat will feel better if I come back and feed it again tomorrow. So, we'll be sure to do that as well. We've got a lot of stuff that we need to keep in mind, so... I have a very bad memory, hopefully I don't forget everything. It's like there's those three weirdos who've been snooping around here, I guess they're trying to get your juicy stuff. Stuff you don't find out about in normal life. The whole reason I hang out here is to shoot the shit with my buds. Those three weirdos are the only ones who come here to try to learn stuff. They need to get a life. Three weirdos, huh? Last time we saw three weirdos in a back alley in this game, it didn't end well, so... Maybe those are the same three people we've heard- we've seen before, maybe not. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. I, there aren't any other quests we can do at the moment, because if we go ahead and 
Look at this. We have Tartarus stuff, Tartarus stuff, Tartarus stuff, Tartarus stuff. Um, we're, to, we're gonna go ahead and need to uh, use the school computer for this. Um, and then this is the th one thing we can do. We're gonna need to wait for Tanaka to finish this side quest. We're gonna need to wait a few more days to finish the cat side quest. We need to get the Christmas star from someone else that's gonna take a little bit. And we don't have access to the ocean, so this is pretty much the only thing we can do right now. It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. What is this circular disc? Gecko Khan Boogie is written on one surface. Is there music stored inside of it? Then this sheet of paper must be the lyrics. Everybody was haiku writing. Those kids were fast Very as light well, lightning. Hmm, I can't imagine what it sounds like from the words alone. I can. I'll have to listen to it later. Please take this as, a, as your reward. Female uniforms, S. I don't know what that is. Uh, the female uniforms for summer. I was like, what the hell does the S mean? It's summer. Is Suemitsu the only person we can actually hang out with? That or Bunkichi and Mitsuko, who we can't level up at the moment. So Suemitsu it is. Although, I don't think... Do we have a moon persona? We do not, so I'll go ahead and fuse one real quick and then I'll be right back. I am Yamata no Orochi. This power of mine, not unlike that of a flood, is now yours to command. Hey Yuki-kun, perfect timing. Do you want to go get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying sadly. Sure thing, I forgot to look at your text, but oh well. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. Let us set forth on our culinary adventure. Today we'll have some delightfully juicy meat at the strip mall that's practically exploding with flavor, and that can only mean one place. You have a pretty good appetite. <laughs> you even kept up with me. <clears throat> How do you stay so thin, though? <laughs> Looks really are deceiving, aren't they? What does that mean? But that means there are people out there who secretly want to take my title as Gourmet King. Eh, maybe. Actually, remember that puny middle-aged guy from the other day? I bet he was an assassin! There's nothing I can do about it right now, but I'll show them soon enough. Just you wait. In light of your recent achievements and your courageous appetite, I hereby appoint you to the Gourmet King's Royal Guard. No, maybe that's too much of a burden for you to bear. Suemitsu really seems to trust me. I feel like our relationship's stronger. By the way, you're a second year, right? So you're one year below me. It kind of feels like I have a younger brother now. Well, would you want to be my younger brother? The best option to say here is sure, why not? You do sort of look like him. No, that's impossible. Whew, I knew this would happen. I always get hungry if I think about the past too hard. And I just filled up on that beef bowl too. Better stay true to form and keep eating, huh? Here's to a healthy appetite courtesy of remembering the past. The old memory rewind. All right, now in reverse. Let's moonwalk. What are you doing? You're my royal guard. You have to join me. Now do as I do. Moonwalk into Umiyushi. I tagged along with Sue Mitsu and had another beef bowl. After eating, I parted ways with Sue Mitsu and went back to the dorm. Feeling rested, there's plenty of time until the next full moon, and while I wish I could tell you to take it slow, finals start next week, and so I'd like you to care for your health and concentrate on your studies. That's fine, I wasn't... Ooh. Okay, so first of all, I know I said that I was going to do the thing with the uh, dorm computer. But seeing a new scene with Sonata and Mitsuru, I think would be a lot cooler. I could fi I could finish the thing with uh, Elizabeth at any time. You only get to see the scene once in the game, so let's go ahead and do it. Plus, it'll help us with our social stats. Second of all, our the information gatherer, I believe that's the URL guy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hang out, hang out with him in just a second. 
Also, let's see. Third floor. You. Um, um, did you need something? Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Huh? A Christmas star? That's the ornament at the top of the tree, right? Why do you need one of those? Oh, if I'm right. Oh, if I'm right, it might not refer to an ornament, an ornament at all. There's a type of plant that's sometimes called the Christmas star. Could you wait a few minutes? I'll go double check. Poinsettia. Poinsettia. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. I think what you're looking for is a poinsettia. This flower is usually sold during Christmas time, so it'd be hard to find it in stores now. Fortunately, I had some in my room. Here you go. You have more dialogue. I think it's wonderful that Kyurijo Senpai is so passionate about her cause, but being too passionate can cause people around you to feel confused. It's a difficult balancing act. Kurijo Senpai takes her mission really seriously. She'd probably do just about anything to annihilate the shadows. I can respect feeling like there's something you have to do, but isn't it a bit much sometimes? I think I know what you mean. There are a lot of old sayings about maintaining balance in your life. I understand not wanting not wanting to be too laid back, but you shouldn't become obsessive either. Junpei doesn't want to talk to us because A, he's mad at me right now, and B, he just doesn't have any new dialogue, so. Let's go ahead and hang out with uh, Mitsuru and Sonata. Let's do that in the next episode, however, because we've been going on about the same length as, an, as a typical episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to, of course, study with these two, and then we're going to hopefully get a few more Elizabeth requests knocked out of the way. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Boy.